Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to give you a first look at Photoshop CC for 2015 and the new Dehaze feature, which is now part of Camera Raw and Lightroom CC as well. Let's take a look. So uh, I actually was the first one to give a sneak peek of this in Lightroom, and now it's my pleasure to show it to you here in Photoshop as well. Uh, so here I am in Photoshop CC. And I've got an image here with quite a bit of haze in it. And I've already got the image open. So if it were, you know, this is a raw file, I could have done it in camera raw as, as I was opening up the image, but it's already here. So let's go to our filter menu and use the camera raw filter. So you could do it either way, camera raw proper or the camera raw filter. Once I'm in the camera raw interface with either mode, I can go into the effects panel and I can just simply do dehaze. So this is a slider that starts in the middle where you can go in and dehaze the photo or you can actually add haze to a photo, which this wouldn't make much sense in this photo, but dehaze makes a lot of sense. Now, when I showed dehaze uh, as, a, as a sneak peek in Lightroom, the question I got, and here, let me take this back to zero. The question I got was, well, couldn't you just do that with um, contrast or the black slider? So let's go to contrast and take a look. Here I am in the same image and let's go to contrast and it doesn't quite do it. That's worse. And contrast just, you know, makes the image more contrasty, but it doesn't get rid of the haze. So it's not the same thing. Same thing with the blacks. If I make the image blacker, yeah, the, the blacks get blacker, but the haze is still there in the top of the photo. So no, it's not the same thing. We go to our effects panel. Uh, we have the dehaze slider that simply gives us dehaze and a great looking overall photo with removing the haze. So we'll click OK and now that's been applied. Uh, same thing here, let's try it on another example. This particular one I've also uh, made it into a smart object so this will be non-destructive. We go to our filter menu, camera raw is a filter, and same thing, go to the effects panel and for here, from here we can do dehaze. So, try it out. I think you'll love it on your photos that have haze in them. Now, there may be situations where there really isn't a lot of haze, but you can use this as an artistic or creative effect. So, for example, right back to the creative uh, to the camera raw filter. And even though there isn't really a lot of haze in this photo, if I just run the dehaze on it anyway, look at what happens to the sky. We get a nice, more you know, dramatic, darker looking, cooler looking sky overall. So just a little bit of dehaze on a photo that really wasn't hazy can do, do, do wonders for you. And one more, here's a photo again, no haze problem, but let's go to our filter menu, camera raw is a filter, and we go to our effects menu, and or effect panel, effects panel, and here we are. So we have the ability to add haze to a photo to give it a totally different look. That's kind of cool, and it's kind of editorial looking or we can make the clouds more dramatic by just adding a little bit of dehaze to it. So haze versus a little bit of dehaze, just to make that photo stand out a little bit more. So your choice, and it is, that's why the slider works in both directions, it starts at zero, so you can use it either to remove haze or add haze to a photo that either needs to be dehazed or you just wanna see what cool things you can do with it with the dehaze slider. So that's brand new in Camera Raw, and of course in Photoshop CC 2015, and now in Lightroom CC 2015 as well. Hope you enjoy it, Take, check it out, and I'll catch you on the next one.